What's up guys, Tom here, finally following up my Silent Hill 2 video with Silent Hill 3, just in time for Halloween. Silent Hill 3 is, in my opinion, the very best and scariest game in the series, and we're going to go through the entire thing all in this one video. So sit tight, grab some popcorn, let's get right into it. And guys, if you enjoy this type of video with the whole game in one shot, subscribe, because more playthroughs like this are coming in the near future. But that said, guys, let's get right into it. One of my favorite games of all time, one of the scariest games of all time, Silent Hill 3. Let's go. The atmosphere of this game is oppressive. Unlike any other game I've played, like even to this day, the like sound effects and like the quote unquote music you hear as you're exploring, the sounds the monsters make are horrifying. So Dude, get ready for some atmosphere because there's no better way to describe it. So we're opening up the game with some creepy jump scares. Heather Mason, daughter of Harry Mason from the first game, coming into Silent Hills Amusement Park. And that's where we start our game. And guys, can we just talk about how good this game still looks, even by today's standards? Like, it looks better than any of the more modern attempts at Silent Hill. It, like, it makes Downpour look like ass. Like, dude, her model is fantastic. Like, I don't know what kind of magic they did to get this on PS2. And on the PC port, which exists, by the way, I didn't know that until I went to make this video. Um, it exists, and you can get play the game in 60 FPS in high resolution, and it works flawlessly. It's amazing. It's, it's a... I'm glad it exists. I wish there was a better legal way to get it, but here we are. We are in the game right now. And here's a Robbie the Rabbit. It's a rabbit doll. No, it's a costume. Is someone in there? Looks like there is, but I don't feel like making sure. Honestly, Heather, same, same. I'm with you there. And dude, they just throw us right into this shit. Are you seeing this? Like, they just throw us right into the nightmare. And uh, yeah, we just gotta, we gotta move and get the hell away from whatever's after us. What is that noise? I don't like that noise. I don't like that noise at all. I don't like you. I don't like you either. Uh, but you see what I mean? The, the sound effects, dude. Even just that little bit there. It's nightmare fuel, bro. Like, even just that. And of course the game just, once again, opens up, throws you into this horrifying situation. And if you die, you die. Like, that's fine. Heather, just, just fall on. Yep, there we go. Bye. Uh, <laughs> and Heather's just gonna wake up. You know, she's uh, having some weird dreams in the middle of a, of a Starbucks, I guess. There we go. A nightmare. Yeah, it was just a nightmare. We're back in the real world. It's A-OK. -okay. God, that fucking, that fucking phone texture, holy crap. Fell asleep at a burger joint. I went to Smash Burger. I got a bacon cheddar barbecue burger. They forgot the bacon. I was very upset. And of course, we have a stalker. He literally looks like he's about to flash her. You see a dude look coming up to you with a trench coat? You run. My name is Douglas Carter. I'm a detective. Nice talking to you. By detective. He's not interested, bro. Basically, Heather was supposed to be part of a ritual. Harry saved her and adopted her as his own daughter. That's basically what happened. Mysterious save point. Dude, shadow effects back then are impressive. Still impressed me today when games have good, like, uh, reflections. I said shadows. I know. I'm stupid. Broken lock. Locked. The Silent Hill special, by the way. Every single door here is going to be locked. Except this one, I guess. Oh, good. A gun. I have no idea why she instinctively just picks up the gun. To be fair, though, I guess anybody would if they saw one on the floor. Like, you know? You would just leave that there. Oh, my God. I think that's a closer is what they're called. Those things are disgusting. Just slurping out some brain, bro. Just slurping out the, the brain juice. Get the the sound effects are just in my ears, in my headphones. Gross. I mean, she's not lying. These things take a lot of shots to take down, too. Oh, it dropped dead. We're good. It's okay. It just took a little while to feel it. It sounds like a toilet flush. It's still gross. Even dead, the sounds are still disgusting. Do I even want to know? Oh God! Just turn a corner and just see this thing. Uh, check here. Check here. Locked. Okay, this one's open. This one has ammo, a save room? I can't tell if that noise was in real life or in the game. Partially worried about it. Might be getting robbed right now. If my arms were longer, I'd be able to reach it. It's a huge pile of cardboard boxes full of books. It's too much of a pain to move it. So Heather, you're too lazy to reach in there and get the key. That's really what this is all about. This is the door I unlocked, right? Oh! Uh, I don't want to know. That's promising. Now what kind of horror? Oh God. I'm gonna, I have to try and save Anna. I gotta. Bakery looks open. Let's go in the bakery. Oh, thank God. Bread. The tongs. You can go get that key.
I can't tell if I'm hearing someone, you know, oh, before before I do that, hold on a minute. Does it just, does it just do that every time I go through this door? It does. Every time I go through this door, it makes this sound. Holy shit, dude, the sound is so offensive. I thought somebody was breaking into my house. Good God. All right, let me use these these damn tongs. The fact she needs to do this is insane to me because she, she could reach that. She could definitely reach that. But uh, screw the sound design because uh, I'm genuinely freaking out in real life right now. Got the key taken with tongs. Okay, and then we can look at it. I hear more than one sound, by the way, now. Fuck off. Oh, come on, dude. Bye, bye. I'm not wasting ammo on you guys. I'm pretty sure I lose the gun. But I just don't want to waste ammo on those dudes, so. Get in the book store. Okay. This place looks cool. Got some manga on display, you know. I have no idea what the code is, so let's look at the sign. Fair is foul and foul is fair. Put these books out of order. 9156. 9156, baby, let's go. 9156. Hey, let's go. Oh, shit. Up. Oh, she wasn't a jump scare or anything, she's kind of... I wasn't expecting hey, her. wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Everyone's Did dead. Monsters? I didn't kill any of them. It wasn't me. I have come to witness the beginning. Amazing, thank you. What are you talking about? I am Claudia. So what? I'm with uh, Heather on this one. Me. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? Did you murder everyone and summon all the monsters? It was the hand of God. There's no buttons on the elevator. I fell right into their hands. I fell into a trap. Ah, uh, the ever helpful radio to let me know when there's people around. Now, for those of you that do not know what the radio does in Silent Hill, it just lets you know when there's enemies nearby. If it's freaking out like that, there's enemies nearby. If it's quiet, there's nothing going on. If it's quiet, you're safe. Generally. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Is this a dream? Oh, we're in the other world now. I didn't realize that it moved to the other world. Well, Silent Hill 2 just doesn't have this atmosphere right off the bat. Like, look at this shit. I've been playing for a half hour and I'm thoroughly terrified. It's how good of an effect this game has. Okay, we're in the other- Oh god! We're in the other world now. Check every door, check every door. Locked, locked. Good old Silent Hill, good old Silent Hill. Health drink, health drink, health drink. There's three health drinks in there they shouldn't have. We'll check every door we can along the way, but if nothing wants to open, nothing wants to open. Quiet room in Silent Hill- There's a ladder up there. Oh my god, there's three of them! Jesus Christ, it's all sound design. It's all scary. Do I want to know? Warning, when leaving the room, be sure to turn out the lights. It will be obvious if they are not switched off. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that model. Look at that shadow. Oh my God. The shadow effect's not amazing in this game. Ooh, hello. Don't know, the shadows are good, but not Heather's. God damn, her model looks horrifying. It's full of filthy, muddy water, but something is stopping it up. Will you remove the blockage? Get it. This is way too gross. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? Nope, 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 nope. You guys could all just fuck right off. It's just blind panic, bro. It's just panic. That is Silent Hill 3 in a nutshell. Just blind panic. However, the game runs so well with that nice 60 FPS. I'm having a pretty easy time dodging things. What is that? Can I not grab that? Whatever that is? Okay, I guess nothing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. I actually jumped out of my chair because of that. What was that? Do I, do I want to know? A hanger. We can use that to grab the thing. Left. I did it wrong. Run, 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 run. Ah! Oh my God, dude. Even just this first level. Because I don't remember it very well. It's just all panic all the time. I'm assuming we can just use this hanger to grab this. Right, Heather? This is a magical hanger that's not going to break. We're going to be just fine. Okay, it actually worked. That's fantastic. Good job, Heather. It just jumped on me, little shit. Get, get, get out of there. Heather! Jesus Christ, man. What is making... What is that? Someone's humming? Fantastic. It's a cooked key. It's a moon. 
I, I don't have time for this. Let me just kill this guy so I can read this puzzle. Heather, just kill this dude. Okay. Yeah, finish him off. Kick him a few times. That'll do it. Okay, let's read what this moon door says. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard. And the final destination has become real through not a blessed beginning. I'm not gonna pretend I know what that one means. Steel pipe. We have a melee weapon. I can finally fight like a normal. Now we're gonna kill everything on our path. This open? Okay. What is this? What are these sounds? Dude, the headphones just make this the scariest fucking thing. Detergent. I don't know what I need to clean off, but it's probably something. Walking real slow through this because I'm paranoid. Huh. Okie dokie. <laughs> I, f I remember this part, but I think I have to combine combine these two, right? Oh, good. She had a bucket already. I was right, by the way. I wasn't 100% sure. Did I just die? I thought I just killed myself by doing that. Okay. Now we turn the fan on and it'll suck out all the poison. Yeah. But that'll also have killed all the bats. Oh my God. He's a genius. I remembered it. Got one of these long, quiet hallways. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about this one, Chief. Oh, no. What is that? What is that? It's just spinning around menacingly. I don't know if he's that tough, but the sound he's making is the scariest sound I've ever heard in my entire life. It's just offensive. Go in here, sure. Why not? I want to get out of the mall before I at least end this recording session, so... Because this game gives me anxiety, dude. <laughs> Sorry, God, the enemies are back now that I have the thing to open the door. Maybe not. Maybe I just need the moonstone. That's it? Oh, now what? Oh, okay. We can just... We're just gonna climb down now. Probably real slow. Hit me with the, the Metal Gear Solid uh, Snake Eater music, but in reverse because we're going down the ladder, not up. I think this is us getting... This is how we get out of the mall. I'm pretty sure... I, think this, I feel like there's a boss. I feel like there's a boss, and I... This is definitely a boss. I remember. I remember this room. Now, this is Silent Hill. This series is not really known for its boss fights. But I am positive there's a boss in this room. So we're going to whip this boss's ass real quick. There he is. The big old penis monster, I guess. He's gorgeous, isn't he? This is what we would have been saving our handgun ammo for. But I don't think he's hard. I mean, he might be, like, literally hard, but not... <laughs> Just shoot him. This is it. This is, this is the whole boss. Oh, oh. I don't even know how he can hurt me, honestly. Oh, I guess he can cause a little earthquake. Oh! Uh... <laughs> I feel like it's a boss that probably did a lot of damage, so... That can't be it! Dude, he died in like three shots! That can't be the whole thing. It is. It's the whole th it was the whole thing. Okay, we beat the boss. Uh, let's, and then the mall reverts back to its former mall glory. Am I back? We just killed a giant penis monster, but you're back. Pretend it was all a dream. Don't even acknowledge what you just witnessed and get out of the mall. All right, we beat the first level. We beat the mall. Honestly, the mall was pretty good. Heaven. Like, it wasn't as confusing as other Silent Hill like levels are, but it was horrifying right off the bat, dude. You must be one of them. He's one of the but monsters. I do. It's funny because he's like one of the only like genuinely nice people in this entire series. He's a private eye. No, man, he's hired help. She made this place into Silent Hill. We're not even in Silent Hill. Like he's so sus, but also he's just hired help. Oh, he saw the penis monster too. Maybe you're just an innocent bystander, but I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. She's right, man. If you hadn't found me. It's all his fault. What are you no, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. About? He was just doing his job. The facial animations are better than some modern games. That's insane. Oh, don't go to the subway. That's where the half of Silent Hill 4 takes place. I... Fuck off, basically, is what she's saying. This is like the most dead-ass accurate fucking train station I've ever seen. Like, it looks exactly like a New York City subway. Uh-oh. Uh, am I getting hit by the train? Ooh! Uh, <laughs> okay, that's where I'm ending this recording session because uh, it could be more perfect than that.
I forgot what to do, got hit by a train. Of course, why not, right? Fantastic, wonderful, amazing, beautiful.